All right, guys, let's work on section seven, energy producing organelles. There are two main ones that we're going to discuss. The first are chloroplast. They are bounded by a double membrane. The inner membrane is folded up um, into forms like uh, that are disc-like called thylakoids, which are stacked one on top of the other to form something called grana. Um, and they are suspended in a semi-fluid called stroma. They are a green color due to chlorophyll, which is a green pigment that is used in photosynthesis. Uh, this green chlorophyll is found only in the inner membrane of the chloroplast. That is the only place that it is found in plants. So here we have a diagram. Solar energy is taken in by the chloroplast, this guy right here. They convert it along with carbon dioxide and water into a carbohydrate, glucose, which is then shipped to the mitochondria. And the mitochondria breaks that sugar down into usable energy in the form of ATP or adenosine triphosphate, that energy molecule that we learned about last chapter. Chloroplast are membranous organisms. They're a type of plastid. Um, and they are where photosynthesis happens. They capture light energy uh, to power cellular machinery. So photosynthesis, the process where they make those carbohydrates um, from carbon dioxide and water. So the, uh, the only thing that they take in is carbon dioxide and water. They uh, use the carbon dioxide to make glucose. Um, they take energy poor compounds and convert them into energy rich compounds. So the equation right here, solar energy plus carbon dioxide plus water yields carbohydrates and oxygen gas. That is the photosynthesis equation, which we're gonna talk about a lot more in depth later on this year. Chlorophyll is located in the thylakoid membrane. So remember those flattened sacs on the previous slide? Well, that's where the chlorophyll is found. And enzymes inside that thylakoid synthesize carbohydrates in the liquid called the stroma. Only plants, algae, and certain bacteria are capable of doing photosynthesis. Um, and the endosymbiotic theory describes how eukaryotic cells engulfed those uh, photosynthetic bacteria, and they developed a symbiotic relationship where both the cell and the chloroplasts benefit from this, uh, this relationship between them. So here is a diagram of the chloroplast structure. Notice it is only in plant cells. We know this is a plant cell because of the large central vacuole and the cell wall on the outside. Here's an actual image uh, using a electron microscope. You can see the flattened sacs that are the thylakoids. Okay, and here we have a diagram that's a lot easier to see. The chloroplast is made up of a double membrane with these thylakoids stacked into grana. Okay, and you can see there is a lot of membrane because each of these is made out of membrane. Um, you can see that there's a lot of surface area for those chemical reactions to occur. Moving on to our next type of energy organelle, the mitochondria. Contained by nearly all eukaryotic cells, all plant, algae, and animal cells. They're slightly smaller than chloroplast, and their numbers vary based upon the needs of the individual cell. They contain ribosomes and their own DNA. They are surrounded by a double membrane. The inner membrane surrounds what's called the matrix, and it is a convoluted or folded uh, membrane in there that forms a structure called the cristae. Inside that is the matrix, which is a semi-fluid substance similar to that of cytoplasm that contains enzymes to do cellular respiration. In the process of cellular respiration, they break down carbohydrates and they produce a usable energy source. So in cellular respiration, oxygen is used to break down that glucose molecule and the cell gives off carbon dioxide. And the process makes adenosine triphosphate or ADP, 
which the cell uses like batteries. Here we have a mitochondrion, which is the singular form of mitochondria. This is an image obtained using a electron microscope. You can see the folded membrane inside, known as the cristae. The open area, that is the matrix, which is filled with a semifluid similar to that of cytoplasm. And that is it for this section, guys. If you have any questions, shoot me an email.